What up with you guys, you know who it is, it's your boy John Mike, and I got something really, really dope that I wanna show you today. If you've ever wanted to record your iOS app seamlessly and quickly and easily inside a program like Logic or whatever the case may be, uh, there's an easy way to do this, and there's a, actually a feature that's been a part of iOS for the last two years called Enter Device Audio Plus MIDI, or IDAM, and I'm not cussing, IDAM. But uh, it's really, really dope, and I'm just now figuring out about this, and so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this happen. Basically, you can record any iOS app that you have inside of Logic. So like if you have the Ravenscroft app or the Scarby app or the Korg module, well this is Korg module with Scarby in it, that's why I said Scarby. Um, the Korg module app or any other app that record, that you can play instruments with, you can now record these directly into your Mac using this feature. And I'm gonna show you how to do it, so let's jump into it. So basically all you're gonna need is just your cable, your iPad or your iPhone uh, and the cable, your lightning to USB cable, or in my case, a lightning to USB-C cable that I have for my new MacBook here. And all you gotta do is take this and plug it in uh, from your device to your, um, and to your you know MacBook or what have you. And then you're gonna jump over here to audio MIDI settings. And you'll see that your, um, iPad, my iPad is showed up here and there's a little thing here that says enable. So if I hit enable, it's gonna cycle. And you can see on the, there was a little notification that popped up that said connected on my iPad. Uh, and now Logic is asking me, you know, it's telling me it's found it or whatever. So I just hit continue or whatever. And what we're gonna do here is go back here. I'm gonna show you guys that it shows up. My iPad shows up as an input in here. And also in the MIDI studio, my iPad is showing up as just a regular MIDI device. So over here in Logic, I'm gonna to go to external MIDI and I'm going to hit create. I'm gonna make sure that my output is set uh, as um, iPad in one, that's that MIDI channel. Then I'm gonna to go to use uh, external instrument plugin. And then we're just going to make sure that says iPad again. So I had to change that and hit create. And now, just like magic, I'm playing on my controller, my MIDI controller that's connected to my MacBook. And as you can see, I'm getting audio inside of Logic. So I can actually record this. just like that. And now I can play it back. That's amazing to me. So now I have, I can record any instrument that is connected to my, any instrument that's on my iPad, any instrument app I have, I can record it directly into Logic via external MIDI. So the only drawback to this type of situation is, is once I disconnect my, um, my iPad from my computer, I no longer have sound and audio coming unless I connect it back. And I can't bounce this audio in place at all either. Uh, so there's no way of like just really bouncing this file down quickly. Um, you know, it's great if I want to edit the MIDI that I did, but it doesn't work ideally if I want to actually record the audio or get the audio, like pull up this instrument, record it in the context of the track that I'm using, and then just disconnect it or whatever, go on to another sound or whatever. Uh, what I have to do is, uh, we're just gonna delete this MIDI section, is create a audio file and the output input is one, two, but I'm also show you this as well. You need to make sure that your iPad in audio preferences is set up as the input device. So basically it's feeding the audio from your iPad into this audio track. So now we're just gonna hit record arm on both of these tracks. And then I'm gonna go on the audio track and not on the MIDI track and I wanna press record. So 
So you kind of get the picture. Now I've recorded that as audio. Can't edit the MIDI unless I go back to external MIDI mode and record the MIDI and then edit the MIDI and then record that audio to a track, which is a little bit complicated. You just kind of got to make sure you're, you got to treat it like an external sense, basically. Uh, like if you were recording your Motif for your Kronos or your Casio or whatever kind of keyboard that you have. So that's pretty much how it works. I think it's a really, really dope feature. And I'm going to do some follow-up videos and I'm going to show you guys how to do this in main stage because I think it's dope if you're using it in main stage for those of you who may just have some sounds on your iPad from a specific app that you may want to use in a live performance using main stage. We're going to show you that setup. Uh, I'm going to work on showing you guys how to do this in different other DAWs as well. Uh, so I hope this helps you. I hope this blessed you. You know how we do it. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, turn on notifications, all those things that do buttons and things that do things on the video. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.